9A at 7.03 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time today and are now in orbit. They are set to arrive at their destination, the International Space Station. Uh, in terms of precautions, you know, they'll have the standard precautions that any crew has. Uh, they'll obviously have their suits that we've, uh, we've sent up and tried them on. Uh, they've got custom seats that are made to fit their body and their suits. And then, you know, every crew that comes back goes through a, a fluid loading protocol just to make sure uh, when they get back um, that their body is conditioned properly. But they'll go through all. There's nothing beyond what we'll normally do. Uh, they've done training already on, uh, on the Dragon spacecraft while they've been on orbit to get familiar with the differences in the suits and the umbilicals and the seats and all that. So... So uh, they'll be ready to come home when we're ready. We'll watch the weather. You know, the weather's always a challenge. And then in terms of celebrations, I don't think we've thought that far ahead. Obviously, we're excited to get Crew 9 back, and uh, I know Butch and Sonny are excited to come back. And then uh, and we'll, we'll celebrate, you know, when they're ready. It'll take a little time to get them back reconditioned, and then we'll, we'll do the, a proper celebration. All right. Thank you, Steve. And thank you all for being here. Um, it was a spectacular launch. Uh, really happy to have the crew on their way to the International Space Station and looking forward to seeing their happy faces on board very soon. Um, as is mentioned, they'll dock tomorrow night, 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time to the forward port of the International Space Station. Um, <clears throat> we're going to have a, a short handover with uh, the Crew 9 guys coming home uh, no earlier than Wednesday at this point. Um, of course, we'll be looking for good weather. Uh, it might be later than Wednesday when they come home. We're trying to keep the handover shorter um, because recently, in uh, last year, we've had some handovers that were more extended, waiting on good weather, and so we don't want to lose any good opportunities that we might have in this case. We're trying to stretch the consumables, um, and um, you know, we'd rather have less of an overlap of the crews in this in this particular situation. That I would say. Um, Elon's all about going to Mars. He has been since he started SpaceX and before that, right? So it doesn't surprise me that, that he wants to focus on that. Um, that excites me too. But what I'll tell you is our work in low Earth orbit, our work with ISS, the future work we'll do on our commercial uh, LEO platforms, low Earth orbit platforms, is about Mars too. And, and one of the fastest ways to get to Mars is to do work in low Earth orbit. So I think we're going to have a lot more time uh, with astronauts doing their work close to Earth uh, in orbit nearby. Okay, we just have a few more seconds so we can grab one more from Will.